Let's add a custom structure to villages. Alright, we find ourselves in Minecraft once more and in this tutorial we're going to be adding this beautiful looking structure to Minecraft villages. So I basically built, you know, a little bit of a structure or I've, you know, modified an already existing structure right there. And the general idea is I've added the jump blocks so that when, you know, the villagers come into the structure, they're going to get the custom villager profession as well. So that's pretty awesome indeed. Now this jigsaw block is basically a normal thing that was added right here. So what I what I suggest you do is when you add a when you want to add a structure to a village, what you're going to do is you're going to get a structure block right here. So you can just give this to yourself. So just to give yourself a structure block, this one right here, there you go, right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to set it down. And what you can do is you can put in well, definitely not getup.com. I can tell you that much. That is not the right one. But you want to put in something like this. So village planes, houses, planes, medium house, and so on and so forth. You can also look that up in the external libraries. And what you're going to find is let's do two, for example. If we load this, then the actual an actual house here will load, and it's only already going to have the correct things in here. So this is very important that this is all done correctly so that the names and the target here is set up correctly. Otherwise, the structure will not properly spawn. So I highly recommend just copying this, changing this around and then saving it again. That should pretty much ensure that your structure will spawn properly. Anyway, once you have your structure, you can then well basically save it. So I already have this as as this, right? So then just save it. And now you have an NBT file of this. And then we can proceed once again in IntelliJ. All right, so once again, the NBT file is just under run saves and then in whatever world you were in. So you can see planes jump master. There we go. We're going to copy this over. Press control C again, control V to paste it back in over here. And then we actually don't need any JSON files because the only thing that we need to do is actually add a dependency to another mod. Now, this might be a little bit of a meh. Maybe you don't necessarily want this. If you don't want this, you can also simply kind of take the code because it's really just like two or three mix, I believe, if I recall correctly. Anyway, we're going to use Structurize Reborn right here from Fzim Hamster. And this is pretty awesome indeed because it basically does exactly what we want. So it opens up the two or three classes that we need to have opened up. And then we can literally just say, hey, let's just add our custom structure to a particular already existing pool. That's literally it. It is very, very simple indeed. And how do we add this? Well, we just wanted to add the modrinth repository over here. Let's just go back to IntelliJ and go into our build.gradle file right here. And inside of the repositories right here, we want to add the modrinth maven here. And then we simply want to go over here to the dependencies and we want to add this one right here. So both of them, both the mod implementation as well as the include. And then let's just do exactly that including this, and then the version here is going to be 1.19- dash or minus 01. And then the same thing goes right here, 1.19- dash 01. There we go. And now the, well, this particular mod has been added as a dependency. We've done this, you know, plenty of times before over here. And then let's just reload this. Let's rebuild this. Can, of course, once again, take up from a couple of seconds all the way to a minute, two minutes, however long this might take. I believe it should be fairly quick for me because I've already done this before. There we go. And then everything here works. And what we're going to do is in the world package, we're just going to make a new package called village. And instead of there, we're going to make a new Java class called village additions. That's what I choose to call this. And the this will only have one public public static static void called register called register new village structures. And we're just going to do the following. We're just going to add in here that this is using the structure reborn over here under the MIT license. And this should well then work. Fabric structure pool registry. There we go. This is exactly what we need. Register a simple one. And this is extremely easy to use. The first one is a new identifier. And this is going to be Minecraft village slash planes slash houses. This is where this will be added. And then we want to make another new identifier. And this is just tutorial mod mod ID and planes underscore jump underscore master. And then we need a integer over here. And that's just the weight. And that is it. There we go. That is literally all that we need to do to add this to the planes over here. Of course, we still need to call this. So let's go into our tutorial mod class over here. And let's just call this. I'm unsure where exactly we should call this. Probably here is going to be fine. Village 
additions.register new village structures. And that's pretty much it. That is, that should be all that we need to do in this case to add our custom structure to our village. Now, where do I get this from? Well, once again, go to the, down to the external library. So, well, let's go to this one right here, Minecraft project, merge name, and so on and so forth, data. I'm going to go to data, Minecraft structures, village, and then we have the planes over here, houses, and there we go. Those are all of the plane houses, planes houses, and we want to add our NBT right here. So the general idea is that this NBT right here, denoted by this name and this mod ID will then be added to this structure pool basically and that is pretty much all that we need to do. So now let's go into the game, make a new world and see if our structure spawns in plain villages. All right, finds us in Minecraft again and let's just locate a structure over here and let's locate the plains village. There we go. With a weight of 150 of our custom structure, we should expect the structure to hopefully spawn in the first village. And there we go. It already is right here exactly how we made it. So even with the door open, by the way, and you can see we have the... Uh, jump blocks of course which villagers if they so choose maybe there's a there's a free villager over here maybe not but anyway so they can basically go in here and you can see they're using it they have their uh they have their bed there the the door also works totally fine so yeah there you go so you can see though in this case you know 150 probably was a little bit too much we actually have three of the same structure spawn here so of course you know change the weight as you see fit try it out a little bit but overall it is pretty awesome indeed and that is actually how easy it can be to add some custom structures to villages all right but that's gonna be it for this video right here hope you found this useful and you learned something new and i'll see you all in the next tutorial so yeah 